Hare Krishna and welcome Hare. welcome to the live you're live with GBC SPT my name is Jagannath Kirtanananda Das and we are very very fortunate today as we have the world holy way, name week happening but at the same time we thought it would be a really good opportunity to talk about propagating the chanting of the holy names in this digital space so this is our topic today and as you know with covid everybody's up in their online game which is fantastic to see you can see so much digital preaching happening but you see these two people that are next to me his grace pancharatna prabhu and his grace uh, shakti avesh avatar prabhu they've been doing this for like 6 7 years so they've been on it I so and 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 yes always the supporting wife as well so it's really nice to see her too so i want to just say that uh, it's a privilege to speak to both of you like for example shakti avesh avatar prabhu <clears throat> the fortunate people campaign who doesn't know about it and if they don't i'm sure you will let them know about it today and you've been you know you're you're in a digital space you're a digital director filmmaker you have so many successful projects behind your belt and also you are my good friend. So it's really nice to have you on today and speak to you about this. And of course, His Grace Pancharatna Prabhu, a direct disciple of Srila Prabhupada, who has done so many services, actually, uh, is countless. Um, he's actually very, he's also been responsible for the architectural side of things when it came to Mayapur Dham. And the, as you can see, where he's sitting right now is probably one that he helped uh, construct. <laughs> <laughs> so he's actually <laughs> helped the Grihashtra. <laughs> he built it, he done it, and uh, so we're really lucky to have him. He's also the ISKCON online director and the founder of Chant Now. So all of these things are to help propagate the holy name using the digital space. So I just want to first, before we go into the details, and maybe I can come to you, Pancharatna Prabhu, is... How did this all start? Because both of you are connected, um, you know, Chant Now and the Fortunate People Campaign, and you're the ISKCON online director. So how did it start? Well, um, okay. Oh. <laughs> now, what, what's that noise in the background? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I've been hearing the ting, ting, tings. What's that? Just It's a, it's a proof. One, right by <laughs> <laughs> ah. Fortunate People. <laughs> These are fortunate people just binging in. Anyway, I'm going to put. We'll it to talk this about side. that. We'll, really we'll bring that us, up. Uh, maybe tur turn off the, uh, the sound. <laughs> turn down the sound here. Um, I, I, yeah, these we'll... are all fortunate people <laughs> submitting their fortune. You know, offering their their uh, fortune to the uh, to the campaign. But yeah, let's see. How did it start? Okay. What did I do? <laughs> I, I was going to advertise the, uh, the the WhatsApp link, but I think I won't for now. I'll just wait for a bit or we're going to get more bings. So please, yes. <laughs> I think Shamasundar Prabhu, Shama Prabhu was narrating in his book, Chasing the Rhino, how once Srila Prabhupada was asked during the nighttime, there was all kinds of, you know, noise going on at the temple. And he said, no, 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 you carry on. It's It's a sound, to, you know, it's a pleasant sound to my ear. Same with that kind of noise, you know, hundreds of people are getting, are becoming fortunate. So it's really amazing to hear. No, it's fantastic. So anyway, this is the GBC SPT broadcast. So let's start with them. Uh, the SPT effort began almost now 13 years ago. And at that time, there were a variety of initiatives that were conceived of by the GBC. You know, where, what do we need to do to, to bring the movement future forward? What do we need to do to, to really uh, energize and ensure this movement mm -hmm. just grows uh, in, into the future? So there are a number of different initiatives. And one of them was outreach. And within the realm of outreach, one of the major things was, well, what are we doing online? Mm -hmm. And another major thing was, how are we following up with people who are uh, getting contacted by book distributors or kirtan parties or whatever. So I started working on different systems, how to, to help people that we, we contact on 
uh, on the streets or we contact through book distribution to make further steps. And that was the, the seed of the genesis of the Chant Now project. And oh, I believe I found out uh, very shortly that a few, maybe a few years later, uh, then, then the, the SPT began, uh, Shaktivesh Avatar started thinking the exact same thing <laughs> about how can we con connect people, how can we help them to follow up, and that was the seed of the Fortunate People Project. So wow. both of these have their background in this, uh, this vision, the vision that we can use technology, we can use the, the technology of the internet, the technology of of email and smartphones and so on to sustain the connections that we make and to accelerate those connections and to start to connect with people that we are not meeting face to face, but that we're meeting in the virtual space. So that's the seed of it. Wow. So no. So anything to add there, Shakti Avesh Avatar Prabhu, from your side on this lovely relationship that blossomed? Well, for me, it all got started seven years back in, uh, I think it's 31st of March, 2013. That's the date when the Fortune people, I was a Sanketan leader at that time at Soho, and I was observing exactly that. At that time, together with other um, Ashram fellow mates, we, we've been distributing hundreds and thousands of books, and I was wondering, where do these people end up and is there any way we can somehow keep the connection going and because you're brahmachari you know you can't do as much in that sense so that was mm. the most basic and immediate attempt why not creating a facebook page that i can give a card to and then that's where this whole thing began you know what kind of content we should provide what people would be uh, uh, what, what would be appealing to them what they can be uh, what what would they relate to, et cetera, et cetera. So that was the mm. first seed when seven years back, we just started thinking that direction. Wow. And and on, on this journey, it, you can actually see that right now, more people are coming onto it because it is definitely the way forward. You reach more people and it's been quite beneficial. But can I ask, when you're starting this off, and, and I'm, I'm going to go Pacifics here. Um, let's say the Fortunate ca People campaign. How, how did it start off? How did you, you know, was it a very, uh, should we say, at the start, what was the journey like? Uh, is this quite flourishing right now? But is it always been like that? Uh, well, <laughs> definitely, definitely not. It's been a long, long journey. And today... I was preparing a special surprise for both of you and for the audience. I wanted to show, uh, I would say, a miracle. We, we actually, the, the reason why this interview is special, because no one knows what's going to happen after that, not, not only because of COVID-19. It's also because of this campaign, because it's going viral. I know that it can stop at any point because it's completely up to Lord Chitanya when and how things would spread. Yeah. But like never before, we see uh, a tremendous uh, impetus towards holy name preaching and going to actually physically to every town and village. And I'm going to show a graph today on how it just rocketed up in a most unbelievable way because within just two weeks, within just two weeks, we've got uh, five times more new people chanting the Maha Mantra that we've done within four years. Wow. Prior to so it's just mind blowing. And right now, Pancharatna Prabhu, those clicks, those, those uh, sound uh, that the phone is producing, the reason I'm happy, it means every single minute on average, we receive a, one or a few people becoming fortunate mm -hmm. or making it into a simple language. They come in touch with the Maha Mantra for the first time. That is fantastic. <laughs> no, I'm just bringing you all on again. And I yeah. also want to put some lovely um i just wanted to show everybody the two logos that we have i'm going to be putting those on in the background as well so everybody can see so at least you know when you see those logos what it means but just before we we go into um let's say now the journey and moving it forward i thought it'd be lovely for everyone to see 
the 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 actual campaign that's going on with the fortunate people. Can I bring that video up so everyone can see? Yeah, so, I'm yeah, definitely. Yes. With it. <laughs> so, I knew I wouldn't get no complaints there. That's good news. <laughs> so I want to just show this video. It's, uh, this, of course, is Lokanath Swami. But please have a listen. I'm just before I do share it. I want to just make sure we got the sound because I know that sometimes it doesn't come on. So I want to just make sure it does work. So just bear with me, everybody, and I'll bring that on now. So let's do this. Dear devotees, Hare Krishna. Our ISKCON Harinam Sankirtan Ministry has partnered with ISKCON Online to promote the campaign, Fortunate People. I invite you to participate in this outreach campaign. The goal of this fortunate people is to bring love and peace to the whole world. Our real love is love of Godhead. And once you have love of Godhead, then you become peaceful. Mahaprabhu brought the holy name. It is simple. Open the WhatsApp link below. Say your name and location. Say this chant is dedicated for love and peace. Chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, one time. Stop the recording. Click send. All these instructions are given below. Your chanting will become part of the united offering to Srila Prabhupada and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Encourage the people around the world to become fortunate. Start with yourself and become familiar with how it works. Then look around for those who do not chant. Encourage others to do this and also become fortunate. Maybe some of your family members are not chanting. Maybe some colleagues in your office are not chanting. Make yourself fortunate and then make others fortunate also. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Click the link and send your video today. Chant Hare Krishna and be fortunate. Absolutely amazing. And just on that, now the link will come up. <laughs> so, so the chant now link is going to be coming up on the screen right now. Um, so please do click on it. It's a bit.ly link. So it's bit.ly forward slash chant now. So it's coming up right now. So please do check it out. So this is a link. So bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash chant now. This was the reason if everybody heard those bing, 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 bings that's happening on Pancharatna Prabhu's, uh, uh, on his, uh, where he is right now. Because people, what they're doing is as Maharaj has just shown, is you can then submit your chants. You just record it. It takes one minute. You record it and then you click this link and upload. And that's what's happening. That's what. So imagine how many bings are coming right now. It's just fantastic. So yeah, I put it. I put it back there, so it's not. Uh, can, can you still hear it, Prabhu? <laughs> Is it still uh, on, on I, yours? It, it's still coming, but I kind of muffled it. So, <laughs> so, so I just want to just um, say, please do check this out. Let's let's uh, make the world fortunate. I know Shakti Avesh Avatar Prabhu talks about this, and it's very important. And you can see. The lovely fortunate people logo just next to him right now on on oh, well, our <laughs> left that side that side and then of course below <laughs> over, over there we have the chant now so I, I i want to just and we've talked a bit about fortunate people and i want to come back to the statistics in a bit if that's okay but i also want to just bring on now you know pancharatna prabhu who is our iskon online director um, but before we go into the project of Chant Now, can we just ask, uh, you know, what does that involve being the ISKCON online director and, and what are your services in that way? I know online is something there, but if you could. Uh, uh... Well, I, I won't get into the whole history, but uh, basically I've been working with a friend of mine, Gopal Bhattadas, who's the chair of the strategic planning team for now probably 13, 14 years. Uh, on different different projects. We worked on Friends of the BBT, 
and then it kind of evolved. And ISKCON Online was the idea that, that came out of, of a lot of mutual interest that we had in how can we improve, how can we uh, develop the, the ISKCON presence on the internet. Hmm. And so we had all these, a lot of different ideas. And if you go to ISKCONonline.com, maybe you can put that also in a, yeah, well. in, in a banner. Uh, then you'll see our, and, and click on our uh, about, you'll see our strategic plan and you'll get the whole vision of what we're, we're trying to achieve. Uh, and it's been a gradual development. And one of the, the, the first project that we felt could be our initial foray into outreach through the internet was this chantnow.com project. So mm. ISKCON Online has a big vision and mission uh, but we're, we're taking one step at a time. And so we, we wanted to really learn a lot more about how we can use the internet to, uh, to, to propagate Krishna consciousness. Mm. Uh, as we all hopefully are familiar with the first purpose of ISKCON, to systematically propagate, to systematically propagate spiritual knowledge to society at large and to educate all people mm and the techniques of spiritual life in order to correct the imbalance of values in life and achieve real unity and peace in the world. So systematic propagation. We felt that uh, the internet provides a, a great uh, framework for and, and tools to systematize the propagation of Krishna consciousness globally throughout the world, as Srila Prabhupada talks about with spiritual knowledge and the techniques of spiritual life. So Chant Now is designed for that very absolutely new person, the mm. person who doesn't know anything. We don't, we assume in Chant Now that you're not from India, so you haven't heard about Krishna even. Uh, we assume that you are um, a seeker of sorts, but you, you, you just don't know anything. You, you, you don't know the Hare Krishna mantra. You don't know anything about Krishna consciousness. You probably have never even, you may not have heard of the word bhakti even, mm. but you are interested in meditation. You're interested in, in mantras. That's kind of our hook, mantras and meditation. And that's what we're trying to pull people in through those key words, mantra, meditation, bhakti, and bring them in and say, here, try chanting, chant now. So chant now. So that brings us on to, let's have a look at chant now, actually. It'd be lovely to see. So here's a little, for those that don't know chant now, this video will help you to understand a bit more. Now you got to get the sound. At least I'm not hearing the sound. So we'll check that again. Yeah. I'll get that. Me on. neither. Sound is not coming. So we'll get the sounds coming on right now. So let's try this now again. Here we go. So we'll play this. Mantras are like vibrations which have the ability to open different levels of your mind and spirit. The Maha Mantra brings an experience of connection and fullness based on the natural relationships between all life. Chanting the mantra and meditating by listening to its sound clears your consciousness of anxieties, frustrations, and fears that could be holding you back. This allows you to be present and effective in different circumstances, everyday situations of your life, while not becoming too caught up in them. The practice of chanting is simple. You just focus on listening to the sound of the mantra as you say it out loud. And with practice, you'll be able to gradually pull the mind back from outside distractions. Imagine the whole flow of your mind's thoughts to be like a rushing river and the sound of the mantra like a boulder in the middle of the current where you can safely stand. The boulder, this mantra, is composed of just three words, Hare, Krishna, and Rama. And they're arranged together like this, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. You can try saying it along with me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Hare, 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Meditating on the mantra means to simply focus on the sound vibration. Say the mantra so you can hear it clearly, and you'll feel the sound revive you of your pure consciousness. So when this video is finished, feel free to try the chanting for a few minutes. We've put together a free seven day workshop for you. And each day we'll discuss techniques for deepening your meditation and give you more background on this ancient practice. Thank you for letting me share this Maha Mantra with you. And I hope that I get to see you tomorrow. That's, that sounded amazing. And so just that seven day course. So if people want to get involved with that, Pancharatna Prabhu, do they just go to the Chant Now um, website? Chantnow.com slash workshop or chantnow.com. Click on a Here lot of go. different places. Learn to chant, uh, try the workshop, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, that, that's our introduction. And then we have two more courses. We have a, uh, a follow-up course called Mantra Meditation, Wisdom and Practice which really steps people through the whole, not the whole philosophy of bhakti yoga, but it, it takes people into the concept that Krishna, that this mantra is not just, you know, a nice, uh, it's a, some vibration that you can chant and, and meditate on, but it's connected to a personality of God. Mm. And if you get to that point, by going through our our uh, our fifteen our, our full mantra meditation uh, course, then we feel you're ready to take our next course, which is called your chanting sadhana, and then that gets into you know how do you practice uh, bhakti yoga? We taught we teach very very simple methodologies for having an altar, offering food, and doing kirtan uh, without instruments. <laughs> Again, we're, our assumption is you, you don't have a madunga in the closet. <laughs> you don't have a harmonium <laughs> and you don't have cartels, but you, you might have a, uh, you might have a, uh, uh, a coaster or something like that, that you can mm. tap on the, on, so just You're like a percussionist that, you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> or clap, <laughs> you know, Mahaprabhu said to do that. He said, to you go to your homes. Uh, when the when the devotees uh, in Navadvip were outside of the Shriva Sangha, and uh, Maha, they were they were hearing this sweet kirtan, they were getting the vibration, but they weren't quite at the stage to enter in. And Mahaprabhu came out and says, "Take this Maha Mantra, take it to your to your homes. Just." gather your friends, clap your hands, play instruments if you have them, and sing. And in this way, the Kirtan movement, the St. Kirtan movement began spreading throughout Navadvip, and then of course throughout India, and now throughout the world. And fortunate people is there to get people started. Chant Now is there to get people going a little further, and uh, ISKCON is there to receive them all. In the end. So, that, so it's it it's like the first the first side is like that bridge aspect where yeah. fortunate people are playing that part where hey there's zero barrier to entry just do this just and then the you're walking them over the other side of the bridge um and then yeah. slowly introducing to the other aspects which is i feel like such a a clever way of doing it because sometimes as you know and I think this probably has come from your experience, if, if I'm right here, that somebody coming in, taking them straight to the temple or taking them, you know, saying, hey, chant 16 rounds or or do some type of use the word sadhana, karma, whatever. It might be difficult for them to understand. And is that what's been is, is that the way you're 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 perceiving this uh, from your experience? Very, very much so. I, I mean, and it's not just our perception. There are so many studies being done. What's the fastest growing religion in the U.S.? Hmm. Good question. Mormon? Spiritual, but not but religious. Ah, uh, yes. Nuns. nuns. Yes. 
Yes. That's what's uh, growing. People are people want spirituality, but they're really kind of skeptical of, of religious institutions. So we have to spoon feed them. Put the wine, put the put the substance in a new package. Just keep it keep the substance intact. So the way is we're repackaging it. And then hopefully they will then understand the religious aspect as well. Um, no, that that makes really good sense. So, just on this on this basis, now Pancharatna Prabhu, for myself and Shakti Avesh Avatar Prabhu, we see you as our digital mentor. You you are a person that I and I will let the crowd know here. If I need to know about something about online, guess mm -hmm. who I go to? Pancharatna mm -hmm. Prabhu. Right, he is he's phenomenal. His knowledge is next level, and yep. it, you're breaking all barriers. You think when you get older, you you know you start to forget some of the things. Right now, there's things called Snapchat, etc., which I'm starting to go, oh my god! But now I know this faith that if I keep up to date, just like Pancharatna Prabhu, I'll be okay <laughs> when I'm older. Because so you you you've given that uh, you say that type of um, side to me that helps for us to really know that actually we can always stay up to date with technology and we can always utilize it in a way that will help and i think you're trying to krishnaize that is what i'm seeing so i want to know from yourself pancharatna because you came from a background of an architect uh you're a person who has been you know in this movement from a long time uh being a Prabhupada disciple 1970. what 1970. So, what made you? And of course, at that time, we had no telephones. I'm we had no. 50. Oh, hey, this is it. This is my month. It's 50th. 50th. <laughs> Happy 50th anniversary. So I don't nice. Know the date. I can't remember the date, but That's it was September 1970. So, if, when my father or somebody says, you know, I don't know technology too much, I say, well, Pancharatna Prabhu, 50 years, you know, and he's he started without having a phone, etc., and now so. Yeah, so what, for you, what was that I, Was that motivation? Because I'm seeing when you said about Lord Chaitanya, that it should spread to every town and village. Here you're saying every town and village and also cyberspace village everywhere. So that motivation and how did you keep up with technology? Because the digital space propagating it, a lot of people are on right now and they'll be like, you know, I'm not that good with technology or I can't, I can't do this. Can I just hear from yourself? If people wanted to try because to do this and get up to date with technology, how do you do it? How do you stay up to date with technology? And how are you? How would you suggest people should start to utilize technology for their propagation of the holy name? Well, the technology helps you. <laughs> Basically, this this technology, this 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 whole internet world, exists because it it was born from a collaborative space. It was born with the spirit of the whole the whole concept of the internet is that it it grows communally it grows by the input and the the exercise of all the people who are making use of it and some mm. are making money out of it and some are having fun with it but the the nature of it is that it's it's collaborative it's sharing people the the, the one thing that is about the internet is that it was founded on this spirit that if we share if it's open it will grow and that means that it's very easy to enter. You can just go in and start looking. And the, the whole world is, is designed to help you learn about it and to make use of it. So you just have to have that willingness to stick with it and, and follow the, the threads. It's not always easy to, to find your way through it. Uh, and to find what you're looking for. But if you if you stick on that uh, with that spirit that it's there, it's out there to be found. It's out there to be discovered. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll find people to help you. And and it's and the one another great thing about the internet in general, it's not like a lot of other things that if you don't use it right, it breaks, right? Yeah. There's 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 a lot of things that if you you're afraid, oh, mm, if I if I do this wrong, it's gonna break, and then and, and, you know. I, but fortunately, for and for the most part, although we had some experience with our phone yesterday, yes. um, <laughs> you, uh, you you do things you can't break it. You know, you, you and even we did. We we thought we broke it, but we've got it back. You 
So, uh, so you don't have to be afraid. You can just get in there, try and learn. And I think that's, that's the spirit of the internet. So just try and learn. Don't be afraid and use from and, what and, I'm and hearing. Collaborate. Take, take advantage because people are, that's the spirit of it. People are in the internet world want to help you become internet savvy to, to you know, when, when I have a problem and I go looking for answers, it's amazing how many people have typed out, and I do it too, uh, typed out, okay, I had this problem, I had that problem, and I tried this and I tried that, and you find solutions because people are sharing. It's a very open, uh, you know, sometimes now people are sharing only the wrong kind of things. But anyhow, mm. that's why we have to be there to share Krishna. No, no. Fantastic. Thank you for that inspiration. And we're talking of collaboration, you know, with yourself and of course the fortunate people campaign as we're doing right now, like I said at the start, see the fortunate people campaign as the bridge and then the chant now campaign pulling that person to the other side of the bridge. So it's making that platform to get that person over. So I just want to just uh, come to you, Shakti Veshavatar Prabhu, now about the fortunate people. We had that video. We saw about the chanting. We're hearing Pancharatna Prabhu's that phone that's going bing, 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 bing. <laughs> so, it, it, and we've, you know, this it, it, collaboration seems to have exploded. But can I ask, if, if I may, um, just for the audience sake, is, could you put it, contextualize it somehow of like now you've been going for about five, six years. And just put in the picture, have you got anything like that you could share with us uh, of, of that journey? Yeah, I can I can probably show the graph. Maybe if you allow me, because I was specifically meditating on that common interview and I felt what is there that I can offer to you mm -hmm. because you're my friend and to Pancharatna Prabhu. And since we see each other almost every day now, I felt <laughs> there is something that I can share that they not only with the audience, but also with you. And if you permit, I want to yes. slightly broaden the context, because let's let's step aside a bit. Uh, for example, Pancharatna Prabhu was amongst the pioneers who was using the the video cam, and he was engaging the video cam and filming Shila Prabhupada. And actually, Pancharatna mm -hmm. Prabhu, you never told me. I'm wondering if that quote where uh, Shila Prabhupada is narrating this anecdote of Chan Chan and did you film that? Behind the camera. So Jagannath Kirtananda Prabhu, can you imagine that my life, I, I personally became fortunate through that particular quote because we all know that in ISKCON, if Srila Prabhupada gives that direction and guideline, you know, it's so much easier for devotees to get infused and follow the same direction. So can you imagine that that day when Pancharatna Prabhu, I think he was about, I don't know, what were you 15, 17, 20? What I was you? 21. I was you, you were 21. At 21, he was standing right there with the cam. And in Los Angeles, Srila Prabhupada was narrating this anecdote of the caricature picture in the newspaper. And the wife is asking her husband, please, chant, chant, chant. So the wife was replying, Khan, Khan, Khan. So yes. the audience was laughing like anything. They were saying, this is going on. We're requesting everyone, please, Chan, Chan. And they're saying Khan. And then he gave this famous, so still it's our duty to make all this misfortunate, unfortunate people fortunate. That is our mission. And that, that phrase in itself, and because you asked for a context, when we named the Facebook page Fortunate People, I never knew that Srila Prabhupada uh, gave that quote. I never came to the point of even knowing how many times Srila Prabhupada was stating the world fortunate. And just to give you some idea, imagine that you, I don't know, you're working in a bank, and then one day you're coming up with this idea, hey, why don't we make a product called, I, I don't know, Alpha Dream? And then everyone is like, yeah, okay, it's okay name. And then five years after, the the CEO just you know comes out and says, so Alpha Dream is going to be the project for our campaign for, for whatever rest of this year. And you get like, 
in goosebumps. <laughs> you think, my God, how did that happen? So it was, it was that type of experience when I bumped in the, into this quote and it's just so coincidental that Pancharatna Prabhu is here because 50 years later, that seed that he somehow planted and, and eternalized in, in that time and space, now at some point gave me so much vigor and absolute conviction that this is it. Especially, you know, once again, we hadn't got any clue at that it just sounded right, you know, fortune people as a concept, those who have got fortune, those who have got knowledge or ob obtained the, the highest value, highest gift, you know, they're fortunate people. And later on, it started unfolding like such a beautiful journey. And that's what I like about it, because often devotees say something, oh, you know, you're kind of the person behind it. But actually, I'm sure that I'm not. I feel 100% that was given. That was given. It's just there. And that's, I mean, I'm not going to take all the time right into that, but I wanted to share some of those things which are incredible. I start seeing it in the Shastras. I start seeing it amongst what Srila Prabhupada was saying on how to use and engage the technology and other elements. So I truly believe it's actually given. And at the time when it's most challenging, I take a lot of shelter in that. I see that the prophecy of Lachitain Mahaprabhu is coming true. And many of the things are somehow, you know, sinking clicking it's, it's just amazing so one one graph to show you uh yes. here's and I, I i like to recall um this story that radna swami was narrating about a famous uh famous about a, a patient uh farmer and uh, that's how bamboo grows let me see if i can share the screen now yeah yeah so apparently yeah. Uh, with the bamboo, for four or five years, you don't see any progress whatsoever. But he's saying a patient farmer, he waters the seed every single day or whatever the regulation is, continually, 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 putting his faith entirely that one day it will grow, that one day it will grow. And I like this analogy a lot. Well, there is one thing, but the bamboo, it, it shows by experience that it's going to grow in five years. Here, it was kind of a little more of this unpredictable thing which just happened all of a sudden, and it was a shock for everyone. Pancharatna Prabhu was blown away. Lokanath Swamiraj was saying, it's something incredible is happening. It's happening. The Holy Name has become so much more kind. You know, when, when all of a sudden he offered this idea out, we started receiving pledges coming from temples in tens of thousands, up to the point when Iskand Poon said, you know, at the ICC altogether, they collected 70, and then Iskand Poon later on said, hey, we're going to do 100 quid of new people chanting for the first time on our own. And it reminded me a lot of uh, how they were standing with Lord Ram um, next to the Lanka, and they were, you know, discussing how many they're going to jump. So, I, you know, I'm just thrilled to see it's happening. And my, my whole meditation right now, how we can we possibly, you know, be instruments to that? When I was in the ashram um, uh, once, uh, um, I can't remember, there was some devotee in the early days who managed to distribute 900 books within one day. It was almost like, you know, literally going with a wow. car. And, just, and, and he was asked, how did you manage to do it? And he said that the secret is to get out of the way. And that's my prayer really is these days. If we can simply get out of the way. Lord Chaitanya has a plan. Srila Prabhupada, his empowered representative, has given this prophecy. And it's, it's just happening. If we can just get out of the way and let the Holy Name do its job. And that's what we're putting faith in with this project really. Let me uh, take this graph away for now because I, I, will, I also have on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, can I stop sharing the screen or is it? Yeah, it, is it, it's done. Yeah. It's taken off. Yeah, that's, that's what I really, well, I'm trying to put faith in. At least that's something I feel very much blessed with and that's where I feel myself fortunate that I want to try and share this fortune back. I was fortunate to come in touch personally with so many amazing people. I got this firm conviction that this holy name is doing something. 
he is clearly doing something. And I saw it happening to my friends. I saw it happening to just people from all over the world when I was out in the streets in London. I would meet thousands of people from all kinds of backgrounds, from all kinds of, uh, you know, ethnical groups. It's almost like an exhibition of faces and souls in itself, just standing in the middle of Oxford Street. And then every now and then someone, someone would chant and then you would see their progress. And then I was seeing my progress as well. And I was seeing people around and I was, I just couldn't, I still don't know what's happening, but Mahamantra is transforming people. But the main thing, you see, I, you know, I, I, I was born in Russia, so yeah. I couldn't quite make this conscious, conscious decision when I was here. There is a lot of prejudice. There is a lot of, uh, you know, heavy stuff was happening back, back in the days when it was in USSR. Devotees were taken to the jail. Devotees were taken to the psychiatry hospital. Devotees were, you know, all kinds of things were going on. When I initially showed some interest, my friends, you know, they actually told me, you know, if you're going to hand, hand, you know, hand around with them, you will you will get your portion for sure. And I was like, hey, hey, hey whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, I'm just a yogi. I can do some yoga stuff, no problem. But when I came to London, when I got a chance to come in touch closer to the beauty of the Holy Name, to the Soho Temple, to the devotees whom I was surrounded with. I got such a strong faith that it's definitely something. But then when I started sharing the Holy Name back, I was hearing so much stuff. I thought, this is weird. This is not true. This is just completely, uh, you know, it's just bogus. It's not true. I, if in many times, many times at Soho, and many times after that, just will, with me, you know, just trying to serve the devotees, staying in the community, I had this experience, my God, I mean, sorry if it sounds little, how to say, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to. No, no, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's your recollections. It's good. You know, yeah, but, we're one family here. Yeah, I, I want to say one thing, but I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say, it's not me putting myself in front but one thing many times i had this feeling if only i had that particular person or that particular people next to me for that one day only they mm. won't have any doubt because there were so many things happening around the maha mantra around krishna consciousness and such an experience of joy such an experience of peace that my heart was completely saturated and there is no way I could agree with any type of prejudices that they were, you know, trying to bring or wash myself with. So finally, this Fortunate People campaign came out at this, you know, call of the heart. I felt, let the Holy Name speak for itself. I see tens of thousands of people chanting. They're beautiful. They're amazing. They're spiritual. They're kind. They're generous. They're compassionate passionate if we can just assemble them together holy name would speak for, for itself these devotees these people will speak for itself so i i really hope and that that remains my meditation if we can just allow the holy name to do the job on its own and just facilitating that happening because now you have hollywood stars politicians simple village people uh, bankers uh, artists, you know, it's anyone and everyone. We simply need to show that Maha Mantra makes this miracle come true. And then naturally more people would be willing to take it because who would not want love and peace in this day and age? It's like everyone wants it, but everyone is so afraid to be betrayed. Everyone is so afraid to be brainwashed and to be taken in some kind of cult yeah. or sect. You know, that's there. And that's why we need to very honestly, very humbly, but very boldly present and show them this beauty. This is it. Please, please try it. Please try it. It's like Kripa Prabhu once was saying, I kind of keep looking around, but I'm just never had anything better than that. So I just, you know, I keep, I keep chanting. Sorry, I'll you know, you, you, you've enlisted <laughs> us. I, I, you know, where can I join? I, 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 I you know, you, you can see the passion, the love you have. And that, that graph you showed, I think this is another thing because, you know, social media, myself as well, trying to do online talks, etc. One thing you'll notice that sometimes you think because it's online, it'll happen straight away. We're going to get 
all of it just go like an exponential graph, just like the coronavirus. But <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. It, it, but then it comes down to what is it? Determination and dedication. You know, just like chanting the holy names, we need to have a bit of determination and dedication. And that's what you've shown from that graph. It just shows that the first four years were like whoa, quite low. Um, and then suddenly, just like the bamboo tree, you gave that analogy, I think. So this is this is something I've just, you know, the reflection I had from uh, just hearing that, that sometimes we have to be in it for the long game. Don't think, okay, yeah, I'm going to start. You've got to have that determination. You've got to keep that regular sadhana going with the online world. Otherwise, yeah. it's just not going to happen. It's just going to come up and die. So I think both of you are testament to that. And it's something I found quite inspirational. So you were going to show another graph, a bit more of a day-to-day um yeah, have I, you got I, that? 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 That was that was a bit of a personal concept. I, I will. I also want to share a more broad concept that I hope can be of, you know, really of, of help to devotees to to get their thing started and and also keep their mind focused on this very opportunity that is given to us. But since I, I just realized we never finished that, that analogy. So with the bamboo, for four or five years you water it, but it just doesn't show any progress so to speak. It's just under the ground. It's under the ground. But then within two weeks, I, I, can't, I can't remember the, the, yeah, the growth. It it's like five or seven meters or 10 meters. It's just it's just impossible. Five years, nothing. But within two weeks, it goes like anything. So that that's uh, what happened with, uh, with the Fortune People campaign. Fantastic. I'm now going to show you one more, one, yes. one more graph. And I want to share one very interesting concept along with that. Okay. So th this is something really beautiful that started happening with us on, this is August, seven, uh, August the 17th till, can you see the screen? It, yes, we can see it. It's on there uh, right now. Till, yeah, and today we are 21st of September, still midday. Uh, well, kind of, depending on, on your time zone. Uh, <laughs> but 17th of August, that, that's what, that, that was the day when for um, world holy name festival week announced the upcoming festival uh on dandavats and within that uh i can't remember when was the day when loknath maharaj presented it to the first uh gathering of his some of his close associates and then somewhere around sixth, I presume. Uh, Pancharatna Prabhu, what, when was the ICC meeting? If you remember from the top of your I head? Think it, yeah, I think it was the sixth of September. Hmm. So, and then you see, uh, all of a sudden, it just started going into incredible numbers. And uh, now I need to say, what are those numbers? Eighty percent of those numbers that you see, it's new people chanting the Maha Mantra. They're doing it for the first time. Let me show you just uh, one more um, screen. Just that, that, you that's quite powerful. Perspective, some idea. Uh, it all comes here uh, on the Fortunate People Facebook page. And uh, okay, one second. I need to be there. Yeah. So the fortunepeople.com, it's a worldwide team that wants love and peace all over the world. and Right now, we, we crossed the 50K milestone oh, just before. So 50K milestone was uh, the first um, goal that we were looking for when we started. And that's what was not happening <laughs> for four years. We were, you know, barely scratching the ground, doing little by little. And then all of a sudden, uh, it up. So now we are up for the second goal of 108,000 chance. And by now, over 45, well, close to 46,000 videos have been uploaded on the website and 462 ambassadors. So who are those ambassadors? They're those people who go to uh, just person to person, family to family, door to door, and they say, uh, such and such, would you like to chant my mantra? And, you know, and they do it. And some of them do it in a little more fancy way. They give them a nice card to read from. But this is our stream. This is our proof. You know, no one would ever call something like that a sect if it's coming from all continents, all countries, 
all cities and pretty much capturing, you know, absolutely wonderful, beautiful, sane people. So I, I feel it as a living proof of the beauty of the Holy Name, of its amazing nature, multifacetedness that it carries along with it. Fantastic. Oh, the context, the context, if, if I may. Um, and we need to kind of blank our mind for a second. It's, it's almost like a one minute meditation that I really hope we can take away with us. Uh, we live at the moment where it's, it's like, a, well, we know it's like a global village, but the very fact you have access through the internet to any single point of the world in almost like a second, in just a flash, it just happens immediately. So this is one unique nature of the time that we live in. The second, well, th there is two, the, the aspect of everywhere and the aspect of within amazingly short span of time. But the second thing, you know, we can talk a lot about why this person wouldn't chant, why this person would, uh, um, mm. what's the word, kind of refrain from doing that and so mm. on and so forth. But the nature of the Maha Mantra is, at any given point of time, any person can connect to the mantra, can or reconnect. And I'm, I'm thrilled about this opportunity every day. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen in seven days time or in one year time. But these very moments, if we simply capture somehow or other, or okay, if, if the holy name manifests yeah. itself, in some way or form, it can be an image, it can be an, a video, it can be some kind of text, it can be any type of communicated sound or any kind of communicated vibration sealed in a little post within just a moment. It can fly out to anywhere and everywhere. It's an amazing opportunity. Kishore Irani, just a few months back, one kirtan, no advertisement at all. She just went live on a regular day within a small group of people who were subscribers to that page. Within just half an hour, four million people connected to this kirtan. Four million people. By the end of the day, eight million people. By the end of whatever the lifespan of this particular post, I can't remember, it was 12 or 17 or 20 million people connected with the holy name within just one day or two. Where, why, you know, why there is a surprise that sages would praise the Kali Yuga age. It's amazing. You can at once reach out to so many. So if we think about that, that's a unique nature of the time. We don't know what's going to happen. It's like Andrew Prabhu was saying, there are, you know, in China, you can't quite move that same speed away. But that thrills me. Any given point of time, if we simply become instruments of that, if we get this idea, if we get this, you know, Krishna, if he blesses us with, with this understanding within a day. So when we talk about 1% of the globe chanting the Maha Mantra, it is possible. It is possible. We need to find the key. The nature, the environment is suitable. Do you see what I mean? Yes. This is 100%. what I'm saying. The environment is there. The, the, we need to find this golden key, Gora key. We need the Gora key to enter this mass consciousness and make it spread like a wildfire to every town and village. It's there possible it and it's happening. Wow, so wildfire. So just everybody that weren't aware, the goal for the Fortune People campaign is to get one person of the world to chant the Maha Mantra at least once. So this is what they're working towards. And this is, of course, you know, Pancharatna Prabhu as well has been heavily, heavily involved. And actually, I just want to just uh, share, as you know, it's the World Holy Name Festival. And these two guys, Pancharatna Prabhu and Shakti Avesh Avatar Prabhu, they're both heavily involved in that. And just before we um, show how chant now and fortunate people are involved, I thought I would just show a video of the... World Holy Name Festival. So everybody that doesn't know about it, all I say to you is, where have you been? <laughs> because it's 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 on right now, and everyone's sharing. So let me just share this and have a look at this video. 
Iskon Kirtan Ministry presents the World Holy Name Festival starting on 17th September till 23rd of September. 27 stellar speakers online, Japa Retreat, Holy Name in Bhagavatam, Global Kirtan Mela, Glories of the Holy Names, Global Kirtan Connect, 24 hours of Kirtan in 24 consecutive time zones. Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Hari Nama Eva Kevalam. World Holy Name Festival, September 17th to the 23rd. Hare Krishna. So you and can see the, about, uh, the internet and and this this is that although we we have so much live events going on they're also recorded so you can go back I mean I remember maybe you you probably weren't so uh, uh, into it at that time but there was an invention maybe 20 years ago the uh, the cable TV recorder so that you could record what you wanted to watch. Uh, and then watch it later on. Yeah, yeah. Before you know everything was on, before YouTube, basically. Yeah. But now it's all there. You know, it's on demand. So mm -hmm. the World Holy Name Festival is on demand for you. This, Ready this is what. Jump and in. the nice thing is, is that this has been a, like you mentioned the word collaboration, Sancharatna Prabhu. This collaboration has really hit far with the Chant Now team that's been working on this with the Fortunate People team and the Iskong Kirtan Ministry, uh, which is led by a minister, His Holiness Lokanath Swami. It's shown how amazing when we collaborate, what is possible. And I, I don't want to leave out, we've got Mayapur TV also helping. We've got Hare Krishna TV channel, Iskong Desire Tree. Um, it's a massive operation. And, and here we are, the GBC SBT. And it's there awesome. we are. So just like this, it shows this is the way to when it comes to propagating the chanting of the holy names out there. When we work together, look what's possible. And I, I, I think what's brilliant, what I found, what I was great, and this is how we can utilize technology, is that when uh, the live classes are going on, we're actually having it live audio translated in uh, Hindi, Spanish, and in Russian, that's coming on Mayapur TV. So it's like the internet, the digital space, it's just, it's like we're not even, I, I bet you, if you spoke to Pancharatna Prabhu, he'll say, you know what, we're only touching the iceberg. We've got so <laughs> much more to do. Um, and, and on this, just for everybody's sake, you'll see that I'm putting some of the, on the bottom, some of the websites. But check them out. When you're, and like Pancharatna Prabhu said, is you can always see this uh, video again that we had. I call it video. It's not even videos anymore. Streams. <laughs> uh, so you can see them again. KirtanMinistry.com. Check it out. See what's happening. See what's happening there. And, of course, I can see uh, we're coming towards the end. So I'm going to give, um, if I can give a minute to our, our uh, fortunate people, founder, first Shakti Avesh Avatar Prabhu, and then a final word after you to Pancharatna Prabhu on this. Hare Krishna, please. I wanted to emphasize what you've just said about the cooperation because I was really blessed with this chance to cooperate uh, with ISKCON Online, with Kirtan Ministry and so many devotees and affiliations that you were talking about. Jagannath Kirtananda Prabhu, you personally play in such an important, crucial role in those and, and just making us a, a cohesive uh, body. And you know, it's just amazing what you're doing behind the scene, but also <laughs> up front out there. But on this, on this point of cooperation, again, because you see many of the prophecies, many of the instructions given, we need to look from the modern day context. And if you apply that same idea of cooperation towards the social media world, imagine if we have at least one page, at least one page for ESCOM, where I wouldn't say everyone, 
well, okay, at least if we have two, three, or five pages of slightly different mood according to the taste and bhav, as we often call it, of a particular devotee of how, on how preaching should be. Imagine if all of those who are in sync with this mood would agree to share this particular page of this particular post. Oh, Krishna Chaitanya, mm -hmm. what a world it would be because social media has this algorithm and mechanics to uh, upload to those who are working in a unified way, to, to those who are truly showing their cooperative spirit, their loving spirit. It, it boosts like anything. So that's, that's other dream and meditation for all of us. If despite all our different moods, if somehow we can allocate some of those pages in different moods that we personally can commit to, because this viral effect that occurs from cooperation of many people sharing the same post or the same video, or the same stream, is unbelievable. Wow. No, that's amazing. I know what to and I, before we just have Pancharatna Prabhu, I've just had a guy called Jason. Thank you, Jason. He said, wow, live translations. Yes, Jason. Tra live translations. And yes, no imagination. It's happening right now. Um, yeah, to, th th not this one. This this show is on our GBC SPT. Yes. But the World Holy Name Festival is being broadcast simultaneously on YouTube, Hare Krishna TV on the Kirtan Ministry Facebook page and on Mayapur TV. And on Mayapur TV, we have simultaneous translations. Just click on your language and you'll hear it in, uh, in Russian, Spanish, uh, and Hindi. There we go. There so, we yeah, go. These are the tools that, that Krishna has given us uh, and the environment and the framework and the, the need, uh, the need of today. We have by the influence of, of time and the influence of karma, the world is uh, now suffering uh, on account of their misdeeds. <laughs> uh, this global pandemic has, has hit us, but it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity because people are uh, more online. Uh, they've, they've gone more online. Uh, we can be more online. We, so many devotees are now learning the tools for broadcasting, mm -hmm. learning the ways to, to, to share online. And I think, uh, like uh, Shakti Beish was pointing out, the more we learn how to work together, the more powerful we're going to be. So ISKCON Online is, is a, uh, a framework. Uh, if you go, go to our ISKCONONLINE.com site, you'll read about our vision for a, uh, a network. A, a network of, of devotees who want to see and achieve uh, great things for Srila Prabhupada by using these tools. So we invite you to do that and we invite you to uh, look at chantnow.com and especially we invite you now during the World Holy Name Festival to support the Fortunate People campaign. Uh, check it out at Kirtan Ministry. Uh, check it out at fortunate-people.com um, and Take part. Be an ambassador. Become an ambassador <laughs> of the holy name. So, and, and finally, if I may, if you want those pinging to keep on ringing at the back <laughs> of Pancharatna Prabhu's house, please, <laughs> HTTPS, there's a WhatsApp number, forward slash, forward slash, bit.ly, forward slash, chant now. Do that, and then he will still get those bings. And you you'll make Shakti Avesh Avatar so happy. So please, yeah, please, and then please. Once you've done it, you'll get all kinds of instructions how to share it with others. There we go. Yeah, it's we all about in the beginning of this one plus one. Okay. You be the one, and then you get another one. And if we do that, it's going to grow geometrically, just like you saw. No, and no doubt you. It, it would please Shil Prabhupada so much. That's that's the main thing. He was. I'm sure he's absolutely thrilled with how many people are getting to chant. This is the most important. Thing. Yeah. There we go. This All will right. please Shila Prabhupada. This will definitely please the fortunate people. It'll please Iskon Online, and it'll please the, you know, the propagation of the holy name. So oh. let's all do it. Try it as best as you can. Everyone can do it. And all I want to say is thank you so much, Pancharatna Prabhu. On behalf of the SPT, GBC SPT, I just want to say thank you, Pancharatna Prabhu, for joining us today. Thank you, Shakti Avesh Avatar Prabhu, for joining. And we really, really feel 
that the road ahead is fortunate. So on that basis, I just want to say Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna.